Okay, 1111 Shannon. Uh, I like this one. Uh, it's a really good looking house, curb appeal wise. So that's gonna be good. And then we have some potential here for an extra bedroom on it. So I'm gonna show you something real quick here. So we've got this entry door here, okay? It opens up into a really large living room area, okay? And then there's secondary doors right there, okay? So bear with me here real quick. If we move the main entry door to this one here, put up a wall coming across to here, okay? Somehow, you know, still having an entryway, opened this up a little bit at least, or not, but I mean, this is my vision for it. Opening this up, you now have your living combination dining space from here into here. You've closed this off and that makes becomes a bedroom. It's gonna be a very large bedroom because you can't really cut off that, um, that fireplace there, okay? Um, it's a, probably a fairly inexpensive thing to do and you can turn this into a three bedroom. Now, the only reason you would wanna do this is if you're going to truly rent it out and you'd wanna do it in a way where you could convert it back. So if you wanted to resale it or something along those lines, come back to a two, because it's gonna really make the layout funky um, doing that. But it's gonna be kind of cool too, because somebody will have an external uh, entrance right there, okay? Um, but it would certainly cut off, like I said, a lot of stuff in here because it would make this little entrance here smaller, right? But you've got these built-in shelves here, which make it more natural for a living area. If you open this up more, right, all of this opens out and it becomes a very op much more open feel, and then you don't feel like you've lost um, what you're doing here, okay? Lost, lost your space. Uh, if you didn't do anything, you're still gonna, it's still gonna be a good property. Uh, it, obviously, the rental income wouldn't be as high, right? Um, I, but I do think the ROI is good either way. Here's the second bedroom. But, um, I think the ROI is good either way. It's just a matter of what, you know, what you're looking to do on this, okay? So that's an idea. I'm not, I, I don't know that I'm recommending doing that, but it's something if somebody's looking for greater cash flow, you will definitely cash flow greater with that. Bathroom is fully functional, certainly could use a facelift, right? But uh, as we're seeing here, no, no real issues. Some painting has already been done. Uh, we got wallpaper here. That would be nice to go over that, but we're really um, turnkey other than some of the things that I've talked about. The flooring, yes, it's discolored. There's gonna be rugs down here anyway. And again, if you're doing a rental, that's not something that's huge. I would not redo these full, I would not put any LVP down or anything like that. I would leave it, you might wanna resurface or something like that, but I wouldn't do too much. We've got vinyl sheet in here and same thing in the bathroom is a vinyl sheet. So you could pull those up and put LVP down, right? Um, counter space here, it's a nice long galley styled kitchen. Uh, countertop is in good shape, good enough shape. The sink is in good enough shape. All the other things around here are in good enough shape where you don't have to do anything, but certainly you could. And I would recommend, you know, actually, you know what? This is probably okay the way that it is. I usually like to recommend putting a hard surface on rentals. Um, this one's probably in decent shape. I like this little, little extra added thing here because of the smaller house and everything. And it's got some added electrical in here. This is a nice little buffet style table that's in here. Okay. Okay. We'll head down here into the basement. This is another little bonus thing that I like about this house. Is all the stuff that's down here. Okay, so we'll go to like where the mechanicals are first. You can see there's washer and dryer down here. We've got ourselves um, uh, an old uh, boiler system. It's not hooked up, it's just sitting there. Water heater and furnace are newer. Look to be in good condition. We've got water down here, toilet, etc. right? So that's nice. You could even put a shower in here um, if you wanted to, because as you'll see, you've got this room here, and then back here is an additional living space. Now, these are not, this is not usable space as far as considering for a bedroom itself, but I will tell you, renters will absolutely use this. So that's another reason why you might not need to do that upstairs, okay? There has been water in here at some point in the not too distant past, um, but certainly nothing recent. It's dry, everything looks good. The house is warm, so I'm not worried about 
any pipes or anything like that from the cold snap we had here, okay? Go back out the front so that you can see the, because I didn't unlock this door here, so you can see the garage and the external of the house. I know I'm talking a lot in this one, but I like this one, I really do. Like the potential of it because it's also just, it's a good looking house and I think that's gonna attract people to get your renters in here. Paying nice driveway, good condition, goes back to a one car garage. The foundation looks good, the siding looks good, roof looks good. Just really zero red flags with this property. You could put up a little fencing here so you have a fully enclosed, or makings of a fully enclosed backyard, a little extra fencing around or nothing, and you're good to go on it as well. Garage is in decent enough condition. And again, siding here, it's really in good shape. Just the house in general is really in good shape. You wouldn't, in all honesty, you wouldn't have to spend anything uh, to get this one renting and making your money on it. All right, let us know what you think on this one. Thanks.